I sound like my stuff I was gonna show you but it has come to that time again where I went a little bit crazy which I didn't really go crazy I went to the works and I got a few books which I thought you might like to see and for those of you that aren't don't live in England aren't from England the works is just like a discount sort of like books with like crafting and toys and all that sort of stuff and you can get some really good books like at some really good prices and I went to town every time I go to town I can't resist just popping in and having a look and seeing what there is and a few things may or may not have jumped into my basket so let's have a look before we do I popped into New Look and I got that t-shirt I think it was I saw a cotton t-shirt, like cotton like vest top. It was $7.99 and I just loved it. And it says, I can't remember what it says on it, but yeah, it says Mystic Moon, a lunar mystique, which I just loved it. Well, it just felt like, it was just like all about that vibe. It's just so pretty. It's like really pretty a moon and I just, I just like, and sun and I just loved it. So, yeah, and I just thought it'd be really cute with loads of things. So yeah, I bought that t-shirt. And then my little bag of goodies from the works. I got these. I'm going to be, these will be for things I'm going to be putting one for my shop. So I needed some little glass jars of corks with little corks. So I got those. Um, this book. I got uh, that I have had my eye on for a little while that's by my camera was full and oh I hate it when that happens like more of my memory card was full and it's just so frustrating because I don't I'm really bad I don't go for it very often and delete stuff and then every time it's always when I'm filming it gets full and I'm just like ah then I'm like by the time I go and dig out another memory card it's just like I'm gonna have to in a second because it's full again oh my life is so irritating yeah I went and deleted some more stuff so, as I was saying, my little haul, I got this book, I don't know if you can see it, it's called Lunar Living by Kirsty Gallagher, I've had this book in my basket on Amazon for ages, I went into the works and it was only £4, this, and it's all about working with the magic of the moon cycles, um, so I will read a bit of the synopsis for you. Um, so Lunar Living's the ultimate toolkit for understanding the moon's cycles, the effects they have on us and how working with them can help you live more purposely. Uh, renew renowned moon mentor Kirsty Gallagher explains how simple lifestyle changes based on the moon phases can bring about positive life transformation. Lunar Living will help you recognise when you should retreat and rest and when is best to put yourself out in the world, shine and make things happen. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Just looks like that inside and it's nice sturdy hardback which I love. Uh, I also got this one which is called which is press here. Um chakra chakras for beginners. Simple guide to balancing your energy centers by someone called Victor Archuela Elita. And I've always sort of wanted to learn more about chakras and I feel like I don't really know very much, so it was quite cool to see this beginner book. The RRP on it was £14.99, I got it for five pounds. And it's uh so this book sort of, sort of uses sort of meditations and exercises focusing on the three most powerful modelites for chakra harmonization, Reiki, foot reflexology and crystal energy techniques. So I'm really looking forward to that. And again, it's a really nice hardback and I absolutely, I just love the whole aesthetic, the whole vibe in that side as well. And it's sort of got like, I love the colours as well. It's got like an about this book. Um, 
then I just like how every how everything sort of formatted and laid out and it just sort of has about attention willingness choosing a chakra balancing approach chakra balancing by physical organs or body parts uh, then it has um, about different type different about Reiki healing crystal healing um, different meditations reflexology uh, crystal healing then it has all about the different chakras as well and yeah it just looks yeah it just looks really interesting and I will let you know what I think when I read it and also if you have that book I'd love to know how you got on with it and what you thought of it I also got this one which is called Sacred Essential Oils uh, by Claire Weight Brown. It's your guide to 50 essential oils and how to use them for healing and well-being. The RRP on this one was 12 99 I got it for £4. And so it's just a comprehensive guide, which is what I wanted. Just a guide of all the different herb um all the different essential oils that you can use and it's got techniques about extracting extracting about massage and essential oils and then it's got the whole directory it's what i really wanted so it has a picture a uh, picture of the herb there and um, what it's called um like what the scent smells like how application how you can use it traditional uses and it has about different elements and how it works and um, what it can be used for and then it has everything it's like angelica it's chamomile you know ylang, ylang neroli uh, lavender bergamot sweet orange coriander lemongrass uh, juniper tea tree melissa peppermint spearmint nutmeg myrtle basil geranium pine black pepper patchouli rose rosemary clary sage sandalwood thyme vanilla I just ginger just has everything and so yeah i just wanted this as a really handy reference guide as i do really like essential oils and i do have some essential oils and i wanted to um get more into it and also as well i wanted to um i want to use oils in the products i plan on creating for my shop so i just this, this is just going to be a handy guide just to sort of um, go back and forth and just sort of reference and see um, ideas for what oils I can use for what purposes and things like that so yeah I just thought that was super handy so I got that and then the last thing I got from the works was this set it actually only published and it came out a couple of months ago I think and it's called Cards Against Anxiety by a Dr. Pookie Knightsmith. So it includes a card pack and a 128 page book of tips and techniques. So the RRP on this one's 12 99 and I got it for six pounds. So basically it's a guidebook and a card deck that provides strategy for standing up to anxiety and understanding it and cutting it down to size. Um, so there's a book in there that focuses on CBT techniques for dealing with unwanting feelings, from situ situation specific worries to full blown panic. And there's 25 wallet size cards to provide on the go versions of these calming techniques whether you're dealing with anxiety at work at school at home or traveling using these practices will improve your mood focus and overall quality of life so yeah i'm really looking forward to to uh using this so yeah so it's just a car let's see if i can open it See if I can do some ASMR shit. So there's your bit of ASMR if you like that. So yeah, so I love the pretty box as well. I think it slides out. It slides out. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so there's the. Oh, cool. So there's the book. Ah, so yeah, it has different chapters. Inside. 
for different tips, techniques, things like that. And then the cards that come with it. Uh, 25 small cards. And they... Uh, things like square breathing. So it has something has something written on the front and then on the back it has the page and the book it corresponds to then it has the steps to do what to do on the go so it's really handy it's like love your belly uh, the big squeeze count down for five let it rip list it shoot the parrot so what write without thinking body scan so yeah they're just like pretty cards that will be handy like the book suggests of carrying out on the go and then obviously you have the book that's more in depth as well so yeah i just thought it was like a really cool cool thing and um, i'm sure i've probably talked on here before that about that i suffer from anxiety and yeah so any sort of things i can do to help myself will be much appreciated i'm sure but yeah so that's everything that i bought from the works and yeah so i'd love to know any book recommendations that you have as i'm always though my collection is huge i am always on the lookout for more uh witchy pagan new age alternative therapy inspired reads so if you have any books you think that i would like please drop them in the comments below i would love some recommendations and also people may other people may inspire other people with your what books and recommendations you have for things to read and also as well when i start getting through these lists of, when i start getting through these massive mountains of books i will start doing book reviews and things like that and whether i recommend them or not so yeah and also if you have any suggestions of future videos and things like that you'd like to see from my channel then please get in touch with me on my socials in the comments email anything you want to do to get in touch with me and let me know so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted